In this tutorial, we'll take a look at Excel 2016 and how to calculate our cumulative percentages and our raw percentages in order to do a uh, quick Pareto analysis. So what I have is a, a file of inventory items. It looks like we have about 24 items in our inventory. We have the quantity on hand of each item. We have the uh, cost of each item. So let's, uh, let's do our inventory cost. Do a quick calculation here. And that'll just be equal to the uh, quantity times the cost. So we'll see how much each item cost from an inventory standpoint. We'll copy that all the way down. So we have the line item cost for each of the inventory items. Some we have many of, some we have none of. In order to do the Pareto analysis, we need to sort these. So I'm going to do a data sort. I'm going to sort that on inventory cost from highest to lowest or largest to smallest in Excel speak. There we go. Um, I'm going to see what the total is of that. So we'll just do our auto sum over here on the home page, auto sum. We'll sum that column. That'll tell us we have $20,000 in inventory. Now I'm going to get rid of those uh, decimals because they're really uh, not, well, I hope I could get rid of those, but it looks like it's not going to let me do it today. There it goes. Those decimals really aren't helping us much, so we'll get that noise out of the way. Let's get uh, let's get a quick percent of how much each item represents of inventory. That'll be simply the line item total inventory cost divided by the total inventory, which is down here in H28. And I'm going to uh, anchor that so that my H28 stays the same when I copy the formula down. I'm going to set it to be a percentage, just using my little format buttons up here. Copy that down, and we see what percent of inventory. So 11% of our inventory is held in this bike called a Run Road 5000. Now in order to take it to the next level, we'll um, do a cumulative percent. <clears throat> and to do that, we'll simply uh, th there's a little trick to this. We're going to take each one and add it to the one after it, but in this case we only have the top one. So we'll just do equal sum <clears throat> and we'll do that's I4. So we'll just do I4 to I, whoops, I4. That'll give us the same range. Now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to anchor our first I4 so that when I copy this formula down it'll always say I4 plus the next one, and then I4 plus the next two, and then I4 plus the next three. It's a little, little simpler way than having to redo the formula too many times. And as you copy this down, I'm not going to do it the whole way, um, you can see it's 11 plus 10 percent, so 21 percent of our inventory is made up of these two items. 31 percent is made up of these first three items, and so forth. And you copy this down, and you're looking for the point where 80 percent of your inventory is represented by how many items, and we often find that that follows the Pareto rule or the 80-20 rule. So give that a try.